Hello and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. This is Chaos Blue, and I'm shocked I'm actually doing this. Like, I know what I said before with the subscription thing, and I'll be honest, I sort of regretted saying that almost the m almost the minute after I posted that. Don't get me wrong, I wanted to play this game eventually, but I but um, saying that I would play it based on subscriptions is really sending the wrong me message. I'm. It's nice to have recognition that people are actually watching these videos, but at the end of the day, I don't really care that much. I'm recording them because it's fun to make fun of myself. And if lots of, and if people like them, that's a bonus. So I really shouldn't have done an incentive thing. That said, when I realized earlier this week that somebody had actually, some madman actually subscribed to me, I'm. Um, I pretty much went, oh wow, I actually need to g play Final Fantasy 2 now. So here we are, for the longest hour of my month. <laughs> now you'll notice a few things. For one, I'm not in that other place anymore. That's because uh, in the two months since I last recorded this, I checked and I was in the wrong place. Big shock. I also, while I've, I honestly don't remember what my stats were at before, I'm pretty sure they're higher now than they were then. So, make note of that, I guess. Because, yeah. Now, their ship's here because I paid for it to fly me to, Sa to Salamand, which is where the adventure is taking place. Because I obviously don't know how to get there myself. So onward to the airship. And that wasn't all that far, was it? And I still couldn't figure out where it was. Even if this was a better game, my f ineptitude at it is just amazing. Welcome to Salamand. There's a few things to note here. First and foremost, if I can find it, is the magic shop. They sell some of the most useful spells in the game. Like life. And I can only afford one. Which sucks, because you really want ev everyone to have life for obvious reasons. And you really want at least one person to be able to teleport. Again, for obvious reasons. And Minwoo, he is not sticking around. So, I'm gonna buy life, I guess. You can also buy armor from this place, but... Or weapons and armor from this place, but I'm probably not going to. I mean, I'm gonna look for the shop, but... I do not think it is superior to my current equipment, actually. And I would be well, actually, that's this. And I would be wrong. There you go. Wow. And I can't afford any of this. This is the grindiest game ever. Well, I can afford some of it. I'm gonna go look for armor, though. That actually, no, I'm not. Remember, the way stat level up works in this game, you'll level up your HP faster if you don't have armor. Or don't have good armor, anyway. So it actually sort of pays to cheap out on the armor. At least initially. With science, or crummy advancement mechanics. Not Minwoo. Optimal. Ah. Okay, then. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to be looking for a guy, so let's do that. Summit Falls is beyond the mountain range, to the south of Salaman. That's where the Emperor has been mining his Mithril. I love Joseph, but I don't know when I'll get around... Wait, no. 
But I know when I'm around, I just get in his way. Joseph's house, I guess? Joseph sounds familiar, so I'm thinking that's probably who we need to talk to. You have business with me? Well, he's bald and he has a portrait, so probably. You're here for Lady Hilda? A little short in the tooth, aren't ya? You kids can't fool me. Mithril, I haven't found any yet, but I do have a few leads, but... I don't plan on sharing what I do know with a bunch of perfect strangers. I'm gonna need you to do a little something to prove you are who you're saying you are. The pun I'm sorry if this is offending anyone. Although, I don't know... I understand some people are offended by bad accents. Although, usually that you, the accent needs to be identifiable, but anyway, I digress. There are a bunch of people from Salaman who are being forced to work in the cave at Simmet Falls. And that just changed mid-sentence. Rescue them, then we'll talk. Okay. I guess that means we need to go to the Summit Falls. Didn't somebody beyond the mountain range to the south? Okay! To the mines! Oh hey, I should also probably equip that cure spell. Life, I mean. Life. It's life. Sure, why not? Oh yeah, I also taught a few people some magic, just pretty much for the sake of leveling up their MP. Uh, this shop. But yeah, don't expect me to ever actually cast magic. It's just sort of, um, I mean, except for curing. It's just, I need to increase my magic again so I can cure somehow. Woo, another battle axe. Okay, now then. Back to, back to the mine. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, this is part... So this is a good time to to say. I've been sort of hard in this game, but the grinding is not really that bad in it yet. Especially in the remake, actually. You wouldn't... You would would have to pay me an awful lot to get me to play the original. And even then, <laughs> not if I can help it. But this one is a lot better balanced for the grinding. I mean, it's still there and annoying, but an improvement's an improvement. Uh, and it's not really that bad in the beginning anyway. The thing is though, when I, the last time I played this game was many years ago, when I was much younger. And when I was younger, I could not stand grinding at all. Like, I'm sort of intolerant to it now, but I used to be completely impatient and inept at it. Which is why, also why I haven't been four, incidentally. Because by the time I got to where Edge was, I was still under leveled. I couldn't beat him the thing. Obviously, I'm a much better player now. <laughs> but... I just want to point that out there while the game is still decent. Because <laughs> that's not going to last. And believe me, it will get worse. I'm in Moon Moo here. I think I said this in my original video for this game, but he is like a gold mine crutch character. He's a super powerful white mage, built for much later, or statted out and built for much later on in the game. And you get him really early on, so you can totally lean on him like a crutch. Most of your party members, your fourth party members, hey, it's a soldier, aren't going to be like that. They tend to range from mediocre to just plain bad. Minwoo is good, and there's another one that is sort of 
not really good, but not terrible either. Most of the rest are, well, like I said, mediocre to just plain bad. It's sort of that kind of game. And mind you, you don't get to keep any of them, so there's not really much incentive to... grinding them up either, except that you sometimes you need to just so they survive. It's that sort of game. Oh wait, you know what? I should save first. Okay, now to kill myself in the mine. Just a sec, by the way. Okay. Um, actually, I'm not sure what happens in here. Um, wait, let me think. Well, no, I have a pretty good idea. Again, I have played this game before, so... At least part of it. I mean, honestly, I never really got that far. But... It's something something, right? Wait, did that even make any sense? I don't care. What is this? Nothing! So, it's worth pointing out, I'm recording this the 10th of November, which is the day before I plan on releasing it. The reason I point that out is... Woo, 200 gil. Um, the reason I point that out is... Why was I pointing that out? Right, as I was saying, the reason I point that out is... Well, two reasons, actually. The first reason is because... Well, again, I didn't realize until... Uh, earlier this week that I even qualified for the... Oh, hey, that's new. For doing one of these. And... I was sort of surprised. To say the least. But I had already been planning on changing my schedule to Monday and Wednesday. So that if I'm ahead on editing the Final Fantasy IV videos, I can put an extra one on Friday some days. Not every day, week, but some of the time. Which, by the way, I'm going to do that, so watch out for that. <laughs> so right, the other reason is, it gives me a rare opportunity to tell you... For Nagil! No, um, how, just how far behind, or ahead, depending on how you look at it, I am with the recordings of Final Fantasy IV. Now to be clear, for editing, I rarely edit a video more than a week before I put it up. For recording? Well, let me put it this way. The last video you saw, I believe, was the end of Tower of Zot. Right now, I plan on recording the Land of Summons tomorrow. Like, underground. Like, in the part where you do a whole bunch of side quests underground before you go and fight- Actually, who do you fight there? Golbez, I think? Wait, Golbez? Anyway. Way, 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 way further than I am now. Like, I think I only even have two carryover- Well, no, technically I had Kane and Rosa, so... Spoilers, by the way. <laughs> But still, so far ahead of where I'm recording that I am now for uploading it. That happens for a few reasons, but there's a big time gap there. And yeah, I think I've talked about it in a few Final Fantasy IV videos, but by the time you see any of those, <laughs> well, they'll be woefully out of date. Because quite frankly, I dropped. Um, editing takes a lot of time to do. Oh, hey, and Mario died. <laughs> Oops. But, yeah, editing takes a while to do. And I want to play the game more often than that. Which is fine for me, actually. But it can lead to pretty out-of-date commentary. Well, that was bad. So now that I've established my continuity, or lack thereof, I'm gonna get a potion. And also, I'm gonna throw this out there. Remember how earlier I was saying that thing about the, um, what was it? The subscription thing? Well, though I didn't really care for how I said it at the time, or now really, 
<laughs> I'm not gonna back down on that. That I'm actually quite enjoying Final Fantasy IV, and I don't really have the time to be constantly playing two games, let alone editing, to upload them. But I do enjoy playing other things occasionally. And arbitrary subscription limits that happen like once every month or two are as good a way as any to prompt me to play shitty but fun games like this. And mind you, actually, while it was implemented really poorly, the concept, at least, for Final Fantasy II was really good, especially for when it was released. Because you gotta realize, when, it came, when Final Fantasy II came out, everything that was an RPG, and I mean everything, followed the format of Dragon Quest. And Final Fantasy II here is completely different from that format. It has its own, like, actual involved characters. It has a completely original leveling up system. It has a comparatively in-depth um, plot, which Final Fantasy III actually goes back on a bit. And it has its own special dialogue system, which is really pretty clever. If not very, um, if not really very practical. You know, it's just, it is just now occurring to me that I really do not prepare for this properly. I mean, I grinded up my characters a bit, but I have nothing in the way of money, and why did I walk into this room? By the way, that's something that Final Fantasy 2 does. A lot. Trap rooms, where there's a door and it goes nowhere, and you spawn in the middle of a small square room with a super high monster spawn rate. But you can't go through, but you need to go through some of the doors, because some of them have treasure, and some of them, like was shown before, go down levels. Because they're assholes like that. Again, Final Fantasy 2 is pretty much made to be the grindiest hate on players as possible. Good con- even if it does have some pretty good concepts in that process. I don't know. Actually, that's like a re actually that's a pretty recurring problem in Final Fantasy. They have a lot of good concepts, and when they hit, they hit, they hit really well, obviously. But, often they have really good conceptual game design and game mechanics that are just piss poorly implemented and really drag the game down. That's what happened here. 250. That's what happened in 13. That's what happened in 8, although some people like 8. Which is fine. I mean, I like 8. But it's game mechanics, particularly, well, the battle mechanics, really, leave a lot to be desired. And it's really a shame, too, because usually the ones that they screw up implementing are the mo most interesting ones. Had they done 8 right, they could have pretty much eliminated all need for grinding. But then they put in the draw system, which is next to this, probably the grindiest system ever implemented in Final Fantasy. And don't even get me started on 13. I could probably fill a whole 30 minute rant on that. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should talk about the plot here. Well, there isn't really much to say, honestly. Well, yeah. It's my- Oh, hey, this is what we're looking for. Pretty- Here's the plot so far in a nutshell. We went to- We went to Salamance. The- Our contact is an asshole who wouldn't believe us and sent us to go find his villager friends. 
which to be fair, did need to be found. They all got kidnapped by the Empire and are forced to work in the mines. Mind you, only the men were kidnapped and forced to work in the mines because the Empire is sexist. <laughs> um, help us, please! Help us, please! Well, I say that, but there's one woman there, so I guess it's just mostly sexist. Um, help us, please! Uh-huh. Firon, it's you! Who the hell is this? Did he, did he steal my pants? Yeah, you thought I forgot that, didn't you? I'm ever glad you're here. This is Joseph's daughter, Nellie. Wait, 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 wait. They kidnapped all the men in the village and the daughter of the one man they didn't take? What is this, Mulan? I think that dastard Borgen's been holding her hostage to threaten jo Oh! Okay, that makes more sense. Still don't know why she's in the mine, though. The easily invaded mine. Princess Hilda told you to bring her back to Mithril, right? Well, that's normally where I step in, normally. I figured out this is where the Mithril was coming from easy enough. So I thought I'd get a jump on you guys and nab the Mithril before you get in here. Only I messed up and got caught. Me of all people. Ha ha ha. I hate you. Well, I know when I'm over my head. So long, but don't worry, I'll take everyone here with me. Thanks for saving us, I owe you one. Well, at least he had the decency to take all of the prisoners, I guess. We need to go deeper. Another thing I should have bought? Ten. Um, let's see, what was I talking about? Something, something... Oh hey, it's a fire! Tome. Let's look at my magic now. You have cure in life. You have cure in fire. You have cure. Well, I think that sort of answers that question. Actually, I was pretty tempted to give that to our resident beaver talker. Because, you know... Nothing says fire magic like a warrior who talks to beavers. Actually, here's a funny story about beavers. <laughs> um, and it's not going where you think it is, so get your mind out the gutter. Right, so that's what I was saying. The beaver story is actually about my brother. And it is sort of a story, I guess. Anyway, you see... <laughs> okay, let's try this game. You see, my brother's nickname is actually Beaver. Um, the store. Oh, hey, those are new. Okay. And how he came upon this this nickname, I will. I even now I don't really understand it. Apparently, when he met most of his current group of friends, he wore a lot of uh, sweaters from Roots. Which, if you're not familiar, is a chain of stores, in Canada at least, and their logo is like a sort of stylized um, silhouette of a beaver. At least I think it is. I honestly don't even remember. I'm pretty sure it used to be, at least. But, of course, this led to the completely logical conclusion of his friends deciding to call him Beaver and him going along with it. Which I sh assure you has led the butt of many jokes. Then how the hell do I kill these damn slimes? Seriously. What the hell? Right, this isn't working. Plan B. No. Like so. Use- and uh, here I said I wouldn't use this. Well, here I am using it. Shows what I know, I guess. 
Yeah, that worked. And okay, I'll admit, that wasn't much of a story. I'll try to have a better one next time. But hey, at least it was relevant, so yeah. Where am I actually going? I can't seem to find anything. So yeah, apparently I need to stop talking about beavers and figure out where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, down here. So, I may as well mention now. Right, so as I was saying, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm expecting to record uh, over an hour of raw footage, which for reference, I'm at 35 minutes right now. Um, so I'm already over halfway there, and I'm an idiot for doing this. Yep. Well, that wasn't too bad. Time for more stupidity. Oh, hey, there's actually someone in here. Heh, <laughs> rebels. Never thought I'd have to deal with your kind down here. Well, if you think you're getting mithril, you're right. My mithril blade's straight through your heart. I'll teach you for not wearing pants. Oh. Okay. That sort of hit hard. You know, I can probably just do that with him. I mean, it's level 8 cure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, okay, that wasn't so bad. That is sort of disconcerting. Okay, I can barely hurt him. Good thing I have fire magic. Wow. Remember when I said that you'll ne you shouldn't use magic because it's terrible? <laughs> ah. Or at least you shouldn't use offensive magic. And actually, I generally would have to stand- and she's dead. Stand by that statement. Magic really isn't that good in this game. Well, that's not completely true. There are definitely drawbacks to it. Chief among them, it takes bloody forever to get it to a point where it's usable. Because seriously, your spells level up faster than you gain MP. That makes it really hard to use magic unless you have a whole shit ton of magic, in which case you're spending a ton of money on it, which is even more grinding. And mind you, this is just for the remake, where it is halfway reasonable to do this stuff. It might be, what's reasonable here is completely impossible in the original, where you have to use spell literally a hundred times to level it up. That's any spell. And most of the good spells, you want them to be a high level. Or they aren't really worth having, except for life. Incidentally. Life is actually the one spell where you don't really want it to be high level, actually. But that's neither here nor there. So, I'm going to go on a limb here, though, and say that I should have been grinding up more. Because... Well, I'm not really sure how much damage I should be dealing to him. It should probably not be zero. And he should probably not be able to one-hit my characters. If only the check. Because for some reason she has less life than everyone else. I mean, I'm not saying that Square is... What's the word? Um... Actually, no, that really wouldn't be appropriate. They are surprisingly progressive for a Japanese company. Which, if we're being honest, Japan is a pretty sexist country. So I got a Mithril Helmet. ta You find Mithril in the chest! I'm not leaving yet, though. There's one important spell I need to get. Also, what the hell was that putting that in a random room? 
<laughs> that is such a dick move. But it wouldn't be the first. Oh, no, it wouldn't. So anyway, as I was saying, I have actually definitely, almost definitely missed at least a few um, boxes. But there's one in particular that I really want. If I can find it. Because I'm cheap and it'll save me money. So, yeah. It's easier to pick up here. Teleport! And a monster? I didn't know there was a monster in there. If I had, I may not have done this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I want for tech. I miss him. He missed himself. Okay then. Uh, one thing I actually do like about this game, and the spells, even if the spells themselves aren't so great, I love that every time it levels up, it changes the animation a bit. Like, if there's anything they could have done to make you want to level up your spells, the grindiest, one of the grindiest tasks to access not even. But if there's anything they could have done to make you want to do that, it's make the animation change every time you level up the spell. It's actually a really clever thing that adds to it. Which, as I understand, they even did that for the original. Anyway, it is time for... Actually, I wonder if anyone can equip that leverage tab. No! Actually, I'll give it to you. Because I don't care. You can have hand-me-downs. But as I was saying, it is time for... Teleport! And now we need to walk back to Salaman. Sigh. And we're back at Salaman. Which brings me to the next thing I'd like to complain about this game. What the hell kind of name is Salamand for this town? Salamand is the sort of name I would expect to be like a tropical island or out or near a volcano. I mean, you could get away with it maybe if you're in Iceland and you live near geysers and volcanoes, like I said. But generally speaking, this is not a town you would name Salamand. It's cold, not hot. I don't know what else to say on that. It's just... It's been bothering me, okay? Anyway, let's go see Joseph, just so he can continue being an ass to us. Oh, but first, actually... We have money! Meaning it is time to not buy any equipment. Oh, that's right! I forgot about that for a second. The inns in this game... And can't even say this last time because it's so stupid. Get more expensive depending on how much you're healing. Both in terms of HP and MP. I don't know what the exact costs work out to be, but... I'm pretty confident MP costs more than HP. You know, come to think of it, there's a lot more men here now. Anyway... Hey, it's that chick. Thanks for saving me. It looks like you managed to save my daughter. Thank you. That cowardly Borgen had been threatening Nelly to get to me. Forgive me. Is there anything I can do to help you? All you gotta do is ask. Okay. Really? The cave behind Cement Falls used to be an old mithril mine. The deepest part of the cave still have mithril deposits. If you want to know about airships, there's a man named Sid you should talk to. He lives in Poft. I don't think there's anything he doesn't know about them. Right, well... 
I think that's actually it. Not that it really strongly indicates we need to go do something else. Sort of another weak point of this game. I mean, yeah. Maybe I should buy armor, actually. And should I or not? Right. Decided to get the swords, but I'm gonna hold off on the armor for now. Um, because the thing is... Right, as I was saying, the thing is, I happen to know for a fact that you get mithril equipment. Like, relatively soon. I think. Um, I know you get it. I actually don't remember if you get it now or if you get it after doing something else with the whole mithril mine thing. It could be either way. But if it is now, I don't really want to buy equipment. And if it's later, then, well, I don't know that. Regardless, I need to look up the name of the t place I want of that first city so we can fly there. Because I don't feel like taking a boat. I mean, it's cheaper, but it's also slower. So yeah, give me a sec for that. Oh, it's all hair. You know what? No. No, I'm not doing it. I am not paying 700 just to take a shortcut. Which isn't really a short... Well, it is. It definitely takes less time. But you know what? Not that much less time. Oh, and I forgot about more life spells. Oh well. I'll just get them next time in Salaman. And you better believe there's going to be a next time for Salaman. Although I don't really recall when. It'll ha happen. You better believe. Um, and we're here. You see, that wasn't that much longer. Anyway, let's go prostrate before the Queen Reg Regnant. Again. Probably gonna lose Minwu now, so just in case. You know, I just don't give a shit. The Empire also suffers heavy losses at the Battle of Finn. They're building the Dreadnought and Bast to help come save for those losses. Incidentally, Bast is the city I went to in the first one because. I didn't know where the hell I was supposed to go, and no one would tell me. The Empire is using the people of Bath to build the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought is itself is massive, heavily armed airship. I think I already knew that. A man named Sid, former captain of Finn's Order of the White Knights, builds an airship. A ship that sails the skies. But the air captivated him, mind and soul, and he soon left sin. We are poor for his absence. I am holding Ellis and Poth, granting travelers past on his airship for a price. He then uses money to further refinements on his airship, or so the- What do you mean, so the story goes? This should be factual. Anyway. You found the mithril! Now we can finally be able to fight the Empire on equal terms. Please take the Mithril to Tobol, the town blacksmith. I'm certain he'll be able to use it to make some magnificent weapons. And charge us a fortune for them. You better believe it. This isn't the sort of game to go easy on you for that sort of shit. Oh no. It's not enough that you found the mineral in the first place. You also need to pay a premium for it that as well. Ho oh, ho, that's Mithril! I've been wi waiting for a chance to work on this metal for as long as I can remember! Alright, leave the rest to me! Swords, armor, you name it! 
I'll stop pounding it out. It's been too long since I let my hammer ring. Yeah, looks like I called it. Time for myth roll. You can buy the equipment I made over at the shop counter. This will keep my hands full, I'll tell you that. You see, you see, he doesn't even give you a sample. It's, go, it's just go buy it. Uh, okay, this is not mithril. Yeah, that's more like it. No mithril axe? Well, let's start off with those swords. And now, I am going to go buy some armor, actually. I'm not going to be able to afford much, but... Well, I'll buy what I can. Because there's... Hey, no armor means... Or because there's a fine line between... Deliberately avoiding armor for more HP and just getting killed because you have no defense. Incidentally, I'm going to be taking the armor off when I'm grinding HP. <laughs> or just grinding in general, really. But anyway... Let's see... There goes most of my money. But I have just enough for two helmets. Optimal! 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 Yeah, that's like doubling my armor. Now to sell back this crap in the hopes I can afford some gloves. <laughs> Not likely. And now I'm out of money again. Fancy how that works. Damn it. I said I was going to have an over an hour video. I need to record three more minutes. Um. So, I guess I'll go to Basque again. I guess. Not that I'm going to do anything at Bas Basque once I get there, mind you. But I just like the idea of having a sort of bookends where I end this one in exactly the same place as last time, only this time I'm there for the right reasons. Which is to say, I was supposed to go there, and I didn't go to the wrong place. And the boat ride's over. You know, maybe I'll put some music there. I mean, I don't think I will, but who knows? It, it would be appropriate, if nothing else. Um... Right. I guess I'll pay for the airship. Yes. Bath. Okay, actually, I, I want gonna finish off with complaining about this. What the hell's with these prices? It's not distance because Salaman is just as close as Bath, and Semite Falls is probably closer. And at the very least it's not any further away. And it's not usefulness, it's not utility either, because the first place you're gonna want to fly is Salaman, followed by Altair. Finn doesn't even register. And... Wait, where is this? I'm not sure. Well, I can't afford it anyway, so it's a moot point. But this is sort of what I mean. Um... The prizes on this are just so arbitrary and misleading. Which is really nice, you know, since they're so helpful telling you where you need to go the rest of the time. Like when I went to Basque when I was supposed to go to Salaman because no one would tell me I needed to go to Salaman after the very f after the one time it was mentioned. And I'm not even sure if they actually said Salaman in that. If they did, it was only for reference for where Joseph lived. Anyway, I'm gonna end off here and I'm actually not gonna fly to Basque because it's really close and I can walk. And I'm broke. 
So yeah, until next time when two other people are crazy enough to actually subscribe. <laughs> or, I don't know, maybe it's a holiday or something. That could happen. And t But yeah, until then, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! Painful Failure Edition! See ya!